well it's cold and it's frosty and I'm going for a bike ride. You know one of the downsides of backing onto a golf course is you have this poxy noise every bloody morning where the, the gameskeepers, groundskeepers, I, I don't know what you fucking call them, um, using lawn mowers, leaf blowers, fuck knows what blowers to mess it up. I don't know, I'm sorry to start with a rant but it wouldn't be me if I wasn't starting with a rant. So uh, going into the garage, I'm going to find the bike. I'll find the bloody bike. That's probably disappeared along with everything else in my stupid life. Helmet. There we are. Get the helmet down. Get the shoes. Yeah, I've already put the shoes on. You didn't see me do that. Going to get the bike out next. Where can I? How can I grab the bike if I'm holding the bloody helmet? I mean, I can't, can I? Put my helmet down. Pardon the expression. Getting the getting the bike. Going to go with the the Fairlight Sea Can because it's cold as a cold as a witch's teat out here. Can you say that? Cold as a witch's teat. I don't know. Probably shouldn't. Should I? I'm trying to I'm trying to manoeuvre the bloody bike. That's that poxy lawnmower is probably going to burst through into my garden any minute. If you do mate, sweep up my leaves would you? And while you're at it, cut the sodding grass. Anyway, there's the, uh, I better calm down. I'm going to break my stupid neck as it is. Anyway, there's the, there's the Fairlight Sea Can. It's, uh, it's not been ridden for a while. There's the, um, the Orbea Tower has been seeing all the magic. Uh, seeing all the action. What was it Alexander Kristoff said when he was showing a journalist around his uh, house, took them into the bedroom and said, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Still that's Norwegian humour, I suppose. See you in a bit. Bye, go on. I'll put the, um, put the Revelate top tube bag on, that's where the old GoPro is going to sit when it's not in my mouth or in my hand. I do like that bag, it's got a magnetic closure which you may have seen before. It's satisfying. So, here we are in old Hayes, ready for a bike ride. There's a new Panagra over Urban there, opening up. It's going to sell e-bikes, commuter bikes bonding bikes, stuff like that. Fun in the yellow is Simon, fun in the blue is Mike. Morning gentlemen. Good morning. We're heading morning, out. Julian. How are you? Odd heading gloves. out for a chilly ride. Odd gloves, yes there's one glove and there's the other glove. We seem to be encountering a lot of roadworks today. Roadworks, roads closed. Thank you. We're squeezing through like like people who squeeze through closed roads. As you can see. There is fog, there is mist, there is Simon looming ahead in yellow, Mike looming ahead in blue, me, I'm behind the camera, in fact the camera's in my mouth, and I'm wearing a Castelli rain or shine top, which I did an unboxing of, you can find the video on my channel and which I've been very pleased with except the zip on the inner section because there are two zips has stopped working which I'm not very happy about now this is a posh road world's end lane this is called this is where all the knobs lived it's probably a bit too foggy. Well, actually, it may not be that foggy. 
and maybe just because my glasses are fogged up that uh, it looks incredibly foggy to me but you may not find it foggy on the camera anyway there's some nice houses here there's one and I did think at one stage that uh, if my YouTube channel took off like uh, I don't know somebody like Juliet Elliott I couldn't make enough money to buy one of these knobbed houses but uh, well it hasn't happened and as you know I give my money to or rather I donate the money which I earn from YouTube to the Vine Food Bank so I'm never going to have enough to live in one of these Houses, that's quite a nice one, isn't it? Not bad. Yeah. So we're going past chapter one, right? Which is a a posh restaurant in the Prince uh, near Farnborough Hospital. Right, it's where all the knobs go from that posh road that we went along. There's some old fucker in a car. Nearly pushes me into the side of the road. Nearly pushes Mike into the side of the road. I mean, what the? What the hell is that? I hate old people. The old people driving cars. A menace. And when I say old people, I mean obviously people older than me. I don't mean 65-year-olds. I mean, it's not on, is it? I mean, my life is it's getting shorter by the day. Riding on ice. Poxy roads like there's potholes, shit everywhere, and then some old duffer comes along and tries to push you off. I mean, and you know, and the guy was, the guy was asleep, you know. He was probably doing what's that thing, Wordle? I don't even know what that is, but I see all these people on Twitter doing it. Don't do Wordle. Save yourselves. Do something useful with your life. Like ride a bicycle. Yes, and shorten your life, why not? They've, they've gone now, Mike and Simon. Got fed up with me moaning. Anyway, I can't see them. Misty still. Glasses all fogged up. I don't know. I don't know. I will just ride along by myself. Admire the the scenery. Do you see any scenery? I don't know. I just see, I just see countryside. Countryside and scenery, they're not the same thing, are they? I mean, this isn't, it's not the NC500, is it? Whatever that is. Not a big ride today. Uh, about 16 miles, all told. But I suppose if you can do 16 miles and survive old geezers in cars, ice, cold air, and generally life's disappointments then uh, you'll be a man my son as Kipling says I'm, I'm a bit concerned to be honest I was, I was watching series 3 of Afterlife last night which you've got to be honest I didn't think was very good and so it's just kind of Ricky Gervais saying rude words and getting a laugh I mean is that what I've turned into? I'm not comparing myself to Ricky Gervais I'm just very comparing myself to somebody who says rude words to get to get a laugh what do you think? Put your comment down below That's Simon there 
Somebody's, when you're talking into the camera, you want to be on top of it. They get on like, hey, hey, what? What do you say? And I've got to say, I'm talking to you, Simon. I was talking to my YouTube audience. Now, Simon has an e-bike, by the way. A very nice trick e-bike. I did a video about that. About 10 reasons not to buy an e-bike, which uh, a lot of people didn't get, by the way. They thought I was serious. But I'm only serious in all my other videos. I wasn't serious in that one. Anyway, we're heading now towards our favourite place in the whole world, which is Rafe's. Rafe's Coffee Shop in West Wickham. There to partake of refreshments. Arrived. Right. What's been here? See what I mean? Sixteen point one miles. Not that impressive, is it? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a two biscuit flat white. Not everybody gets two biscuits. Used to get no. Used to get no biscuits. Oh well, only for your second cup of coffee did you not get a second biscuit. Simon's eating his biscuit there. It's a bit noisy in here. And the surprise wouldn't surprise because Well, I mean, you know, Bowman cyclists, they're, they're just a small, they're, they're, you know, giant and trek will hoover up all what's going, that way. That's what I'm saying. A small Toast. Simon's having toast and jam, Mike is having toast and marmalade. I'm not having anything at all. Two biscuits. Oh, I said it's enough for me. Very nice coffee stop at uh, Rafe's coffee shop. Two coffees for me, as I showed you. And um, here is Rafe's. It's a lovely, lovely day now, isn't it? So I'm just moving the camera around. Lovely day. There. Here is Rafe's. There's our bikes outside. Special meal deal there. You can see any sandwich, drink, and crisps, six pounds. Take away only. There's Mike. There's Dan Hi, saying hello. Hi, Dan. Thank you for coffee. Thank you for the biscuits. This is Dan, uh, the son of the owner. I believe who works at Rafe's. Uh, Rafe's is actually the uh, Al is the owner, and Rafe's Rafe is the name of his grandson. Maybe Dan's son, but I'm not quite sure about that. Anyway, it's in West Wickham. Uh, it's a very nice cafe. It's my favourite. So not a long ride today, and in fact the weather now is gorgeous. So I pan up. Look at that. Pan up to the blue sky. There's a tree. There's a man in the yellow high vis jacket. The railway tavern pub. A few cars going past. And there, sunshine beaming in. There's another cafe there called Grind. There's a nice cafe there. Well, I tend to go to Rafe's. So, thanks for watching. Mike's unlocking the bikes there. Mike, Simon. About to emerge. Catch you in the next video. See you next time.